Hello, welcome to uh, Business Insights. Uh, I wanted to make sure I got this video posted. This is uh, at a new location, obviously, and this video is about a smokehouse restaurant in Kuwait. Before I left uh, Kuwait this last time, I ordered some food from the smokehouse, and uh, I ordered the lamb. And when I got the lamb, I had noticed that it was definitely burnt on the outside and raw on the inside. No doubt about it. And I mean raw. Okay, I mean raw is just is nasty and disgusting. Now, I complained, obviously. Uh, and the response I got back, which I thought was very interesting, and that the, the only reason I'm even doing this is, uh, you ordered... This is the response. I had to do it online because they were closed and I was leaving. You ordered the lamb chops as medium rare. Medium rare took one minute and a half on the grill. And 100% you will find blood and uncooked meat. That's the response I got from the uh, owner of the restaurant. Or the manager. Uh, the operation manager, actually. As he lists himself. So, uh, you know, I replied back. And I said, you know, a minute and a half, you know, that almost sounds, sounds reasonable. It sounds like, oh, okay, maybe you know what you're talking about. Uh, but a minute and a half of what temperature, um, realistically, anyone who actually understands food knows you don't serve raw, <laughs> raw meat. <laughs> and there wouldn't be blood in it. And it's just, <laughs> it really it was just, I, and he, the problem is, he came across in this email that he sent me back, this reply, as like, it's my fault. I ordered medium rare. Watch you, my fault. I didn't know what I was ordering. I didn't know how I was, you know, it's my fault. And they're like, it's not. Um, it was poorly cooked. Uh, it was just terrible. So I told him, I said, you know, let me just, so what I told him was, I said, uh, you know, look, that's a bad response. What, you know, are, are you going for the negative marketing where the more negative comments, you know, some places that works where you get a lot of negative comments and maybe it'll help you. Uh, with restaurants, I don't usually think that that, that works. So uh, I said, you know, it's just it's just terrible customer service. You know, how about, hey, okay, things happen. Maybe we can make it up to you at another time, whatever. This, that, the other thing, you know, something. But, but to blame me. And then, after I explained that to him, uh, and I said, you know, look, it's really, it's just a terrible way to do things, and you're actually scaring me when you tell me that medium rare should have raw meat, and the fact that you're probably serving raw meat to other people. He says, uh, you know, thanks for your advice. We have enough customers that like our food, which, of course, is uh, just the first step down a, a very bad path. Uh, you may have some customers now that like your food. Um, you may have a set group of customers that keep coming back. But you'll find that those customers eventually will disappear. And without a continual new customer base, uh, your restaurant's not going to last. Uh, I think everybody who understands restaurants knows that. So, uh, the Smokehouse Restaurant in Kuwait, uh, I would avoid it. I'll never eat there again. Uh, anyone that would serve raw food, raw meat... It would, and, and to think that raw meat and blood should be <laughs> in medium rare is just, it's ridiculous. Um, it just shows a complete lack of knowledge. Um, I actually have a terrible cold, but I wanted to make sure before anyone else gets poisoned. It's been a while, it's been a few weeks now. But before anyone gets poisoned uh, or sick due to uh, raw food, I wanted to make sure I get this email, uh, this video up, and I will try and do better. But the takeaways here are real simple. Uh, when someone uh, does contact you regarding that, unless you're going for a negative style marketing campaign, then you, you may want to not try and blame the customer. Number two, if you, you're basing your entire business model on an existing customer base, uh, you might be in trouble. Uh, you know, having a customer base is great. But to sustain a business long term, you, you always need to develop new customers. And so uh, those are the two big ones. Uh, 
And the last one is for anyone in the food industry, please. I can't believe anyone has to tell you this, but don't serve raw meat. Uh, unless it's like steak tartare or something like that. But uh, please, really. Okay, let's uh, let's try and set some decent standards. Okay, that was uh, Business Insights for today. Thank you. Have a nice day.